Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to upgrade your computer to Windows 11 from Windows 10 if it's on unsupported hardware or doesn't meet the other requirements. So we did a video recently on a script you could run that will actually do the same thing, but this seems to do a little extra. For example, this one with a script, if your CPU core count was off, it still wouldn't let you do it, but this one will. All right, so this one here only has one core. It's got a DirectX problem and no TPM. So if I try to run setup from the Windows ISO file here, skip this for the sake of time. So you can see we have the same errors here. Processor must have two or more cores and must have TPM 2.0. All right, so we'll cancel that out. All right, so the tool we're going to use is called Flyby11. So you just download it, extract the zip file, run the executable like so. It gives you kind of a summary here saying your probability of upgrading. So it says very high. So you click on Start Upgrade Now. All right, so now we have a couple options here. We could select an ISO file from the computer. You could drag and drop it. Uh, you could apply a compatibility patch to an ISO file if you want to do a clean installation. And you could also see if your computer will upgrade to Windows 11. All right, so we'll just select the same ISO file here. All right, so it's going to run a PowerShell command here. So it says Windows 11 installation can now proceed. Please follow the instructions in the setup window. And there's also a note somewhere that I saw it says to ignore this install Windows Server because it's not really installing Windows Server. All right, I'm going to do this again for the sake of time. But if you're doing an upgrade, you probably want to leave this checked so it'll download the latest updates. Right, accept the agreement. We'll keep file settings and apps. So one thing I will note while we're waiting is obviously you're going to have to go to the Windows 11 website and download the ISO file so you have it on your computer ready to go. All right, so here's our summary here. Installing Windows 11 Home, because this is Windows 10 Home. Keep file settings and apps, and you can change that if you want by clicking this link. Click on Install. All right, so once again, just ignore the Windows Server part here. So I'll be pausing the video throughout the process here so you don't have to watch this entire thing. All right, so the first part is complete, so we're going to be rebooting, and then we'll continue from there. All right, so now it's doing some updates. All right, so we're rebooting and doing more updates. All right, so we're booted up here. I have my default account here that I had before in Windows 10. This is just a local user account. All right, so now it's going to do the uh, first time profile setup that you see every time you log into a new version of Windows for the first time, even if it's an upgrade. So this will take a few minutes, so I'll pause and be back when this is done. All right, so now we're on our Windows 11 desktop now. You can see we still have our ISO file, our Why Not Win 11 checker, the Flyby 11 software. Logged in with our local user. And of course, if you were using a Microsoft account, you'd have your Microsoft user. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could download Flyby 11. And then I'll also put a link for the Why Not Win 11 
software so that way you can check to see what it says about your computer if it's ready or not even though this will give you an idea as well and then like I said you'll have to download a Windows 11 ISO file from the Microsoft website to do this process. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.